You know, and how important is this? You know, I, what I'm convinced of is this. There's a lot of religious people out there in the world who know something's missing. They're just having a religious experience, but they don't really truly know God. And that's because they've never dealt with this natural mind. They've never admitted that they have a lot of hostility, a lot of resentment, a lot of you know, disfavor toward God and His law. They don't like it. They don't want to submit, and they don't understand that. And they don't understand that there's only one way to get rid of that rebellion. You know, there, there, there's a rebellion going on inside of you. That rebellion is towards God's will, God's law. And there's only one way to deal with that, and that is to receive the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God transforms the rebellious heart of man. It really does. And I know of no other way of transforming the rebellious heart of man. Of man. There's no, it's not something that you can do on your own. You can't pray enough. You can't fast enough. You can't go to church enough to deal with this issue. There's only one way to deal with it, and that is by receiving the Holy Spirit of God. You were created incomplete. From the get-go, man was created incomplete. It's the way God designed us. We're lacking something. That's why often as a teenager, you felt like I'm missing something. I wonder what it is I'm missing. Even though you had loving parents, even though you had parents that cared for you, you felt like I am missing something. I know I am missing something. Well, that something is the Spirit of God because you're incomplete without it. You were never meant to live out your entire existence without receiving the Spirit of God. It's the very reason you exist, is to come to that point of surrender, of repentance, and saying, God, I need you. I need something that you have. I need a power that you have, and that you say, you said, you'll freely give me and that is the Spirit of God in my life. And once that happens, that, like I said, that is your moment of conception. And things from that point, once you receive the Spirit of God, things will never be the same. And so, you know, quit living your life as though this is not important. Yeah, it takes humility to submit to this. It takes humility to go to a church, a minister, or whatever, and say, I want to be baptized. You know, we think about, well, what will my friends say? And what will other people think of me if I do that? You know, and a lot of times religious people, their, their hang up is this. They've spent so many years thinking that they have the Spirit of God, and all of a sudden they realize they don't. And it would be a humbling experience to admit that what you've had up to this point is sort of like not the real McCoy. And so a lot of religious people will never go through this step to actually receive the Spirit of God because it would make them look not as smart as they thought they were or whatever, you know. But it takes humility to do it, to, but, but anyway. There is no other way to change the rebellious heart of man but by receiving the Spirit of God. And that's what's really in your Bible.